Come on me. What's good to you guys? It's your girl Kiara Ayana. Today I am coming to you guys with a do-it-yourself apartment friendly renovations. I know this looks very intimidating you guys but I promise it was so easy to do and I'm going to show you guys just how you can do it too. So if you'd like to see how I was able to install these apartment friendly renovations then stay tuned. classic white tiles that are pretty much in everybody's tub and they wouldn't be so much of a problem if they didn't come all the way around and wrap around the whole bathroom even all the way to the ground so I'm actually going to not only replace the tiles but kind of refinish the tub as well as you guys can see the grout is very old and the bottom of the tub just looks really dusty. Lastly, we have the vanity, which I'm just gonna completely do a whole entire new makeover. I'm going to wrap everything pretty much in contact paper and refinish the sink. And then with the tool, I'm gonna replace the lid. Probably gonna take the shel shelving down or either like paint the shelving. I still haven't decided what I'm gonna do with the shelving yet. Oh, and then I'm also gonna replace this light fixture because this is just giving me elementary school cafeteria light and I hate that. I'm also gonna probably remove this bar um, and I'll, I'll decide what I'm gonna do it later, but since the bathroom is so small, I wanna do something that's going to expand the bathroom and make it look a little bit more larger. So yeah, that's all the plans for the bathroom and let's get started. All right, so after taking down all of the cabinets, these are like the imperfections in the walls. You guys can see that there's holes, more imperfections in the walls. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some scaffolding over all these imperfections so that we can go ahead and paint. This is the Dry Dex Spackling Kit. So it came with this, it also came with this, and it also came with some sandpaper. And this goes on pink and it dries white. So I think that's really cute. Let's start with this right here. Just gonna throw it on there. Never falling, why you making problems? I've been silent, why you making problems? I'm a problem, being rich is not my fault. You decide. I started sandpapering it. I was just using this sandpaper right here. But this is how it's coming out. It's looking pretty smooth with the wall. So we've gone ahead and we wrapped the whole shower up with this blue tape stuff. And then Chevy is down here deep caulking the tub. So that is the caulk before. And this is what Chevy has done. She has made magic happen. Look at all of the scrap. And then we're just gonna paint over that wall. Can I do it? You wanna do it after me? No, I can do it what you did. You wanna do what I did? Okay, you can do what I did. This is the white that we chose. I don't remember the name, but I'll put the name in the description. And we're just gonna get out. Okay, so we got the first coat of paint on there. We're gonna come back in for a second round of paint. This is what you guys can see the color before. This is the color of the door right now. And this is what the after color is looking like. It looks awesome. There's, this is my home girl of the day. And now, we have the tub taped off and we have the sink taped off. We're gonna go ahead and use this Rustolian tub and tile epoxy. Pretty much the instructions just told us to clean out the tub, which I have done to the best of my ability. As you guys can see, it is still pretty dirty, which is why I'm going ahead and doing this anyways. All right, so we shake it up for a minute. 
as that as do light coats. to the entire wall to get this like this pretty much i just measured the top of the tile to the bottom of the tile the left of the tile to the bottom of the tile the right to the tile and then i cut out a square in the tile and i just put it over there but this one i feel like i might just go ahead and lay the tile down and just use my box cutter to precisely just go around the circle and i feel like that might be the most effective so i'm gonna see what that does and we will be back when Like everything looks great. We're gonna go ahead and put some grout in between these tiles so that they can really be as water resistant and as neat and finished as we would like it. I am so sorry guys, I did not show you this process of me laying down the grout, but I'm just gonna walk you through what I actually did. So I just taped off each section with this painter's tape and then I just went in with the grout that I purchased and I will leave the grout that I had in the description below. And I just went in with a grouting gun and I just put the grout inside of all of the empty spaces really slowly. And afterwards, I just used my pointer finger to press the grout in. And I waited about a day and a half for it to dry and now I'm removing the tape. It was so, so easy. You guys can do this yourself. It's not an issue. And in this next clip, I'm actually going to show you guys what that looked like in the corners of the tub. So the entire point of grouting your tiles is just to make sure that there's no water slipping in between these tiles and causing them to come up because that adhesive is not as strong um, as it could be on the first day and we're going to be using so much water. You also don't want mold to form in your bathroom, that would be gross. And this entire process only took me about a day and then I was done. So I picked up this shower caddy. It's a four tier corner shower organizer because my shower head, it looks a little flimsy. I was gonna get like just, ooh, let me put my shirt down. I was gonna get one of those shower caddies that you just put over the shower head, but my shower head is a little flimsy, so. you guys so there's plenty of YouTube videos on how to 
put up a light fixture but I was just not about to electrocute myself and do that myself so I had my boyfriend help me and yeah pretty much you guys are just gonna see how it looks now and how it looks before <laughs> so the next step is to now line my cabinets I'm gonna be using this black matte peel and stick wallpaper that I got off of Amazon um, it was fairly cheap. I can actually leave the link in the description for you guys if you guys want this same one. So the first step to this process, I'm just going to go ahead and unhinge these doors so that it's easier for me to line the inside of the cabinet and just make it really nice and seamless. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. So I decided to do it this way because I just figured that lining the cabinets with contact paper would be a lot more cost effective and neater and cleaner than paint. So I'm just taking the doors off of these cabinets and that's actually a very easy process. And then I measured the width and the length of my cabinets and just cut out that piece. And then I just taped it on there and now I'm just going on my box cutter and just cutting out those holes. You just go get ready, we go out, baby. Long time looking for the process. Andre had the bounce. So now I'm just doing the same thing with the doors of the cabinets. Yes, there are little inserts in the cabinets, but I'm just putting the contact paper right over that and pressing it down with a spatula so that it's nice and smooth. And then I'm gonna drill the doors right back onto the cabinet and I am going to put these cute little silver hardware handles that I got from Amazon and I'll leave the link in the description for those too. That's how that came out. I don't even know if I showed you guys that when it was finished. Um, and then I just got this little thing from Wayfair that I went ahead and I put that right there. Then I'm also going to hang up this glass shelf, which I'm about to let you guys watch how I do that. And then I'm gonna be installing this transparent glass toilet seat. Alright, so I got my shelf up. I actually just installed this cute little thing. I forgot to film it, but I got that up. That was easy enough. I literally just drilled some holes in there and excuse my wall guys i'm actually gonna do some touch-ups because the wall just looks crazy um so now i'm working on this toilet seat which is giving a little difficulties because i'm trying to get this part off and i'm about to just go to the hardware store real quick and get me a wrench um and i'll be back when all of that is done good morning you guys so this is like week four of this i actually kind of took a break from all of these bathroom renovations and i was kind of just like doing a whole bunch of stuff around the house. I did a lot of renovations as you guys could probably see behind me, but we're gonna save that for another time. Today I'm just gonna try to complete the rest of the, the work that I have to do in the bathroom and it's really nothing crazy. I just have to do some touch-ups with the paint. I decided that instead of putting paint and stick tiling on the floor, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and paint it. I know that will just be way more simpler. Um, so I can just finish this video, y'all. And then I also just want to do some, um, I want to do the trimming. So paint the edges of the bathroom today. So I'm, let me just get in there and show you guys what I'm talking about. So I also installed this. I don't even know if you guys can see it because it's so clear, but this is a shower door. I got this from Wafer and I will leave in the description. Um, I will leave the link in the description because this was so cool and it was only $160. So if you guys want to add something to your bathroom that just gives it that, like it makes it more spacious rather than you having to go out and get a curtain because a curtain to me is just so tacky. Like it gives it more of like that nice spa feel and that's how I wanted it to feel like a spa. That is the toilet seat that I installed and I will also show you guys, I mean leave a link for you guys to go purchase that as well. This is so cute. Um, you definitely have to make sure you keep your toilet bowl clean and I want to get an LED light for that as well so that we don't have to keep turning off and on the lights. 
Um, I did replace the hardware in the bathroom as well, so now it's black instead of cream. And um, yes, we also replaced that light. And I have to also like touch up the paint around the light as well. So you guys will see it as I do that as well. And so yeah, let's just get right into it. the paint touch-ups are all done. I'm about to go in and paint the floor. The floor looks disgusting. Like, let me show you guys what the floor looks like before. But this is what I'm going to be using to paint the floor. It's just some Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch Extra Cover in the color white. Let's see how this works. If it looks bad, I'm just going to go in and put these towels on the floor. So let's see. This is the final look. So this is how it came out. I'm truly obsessed with how it came out. I still have a couple things that I wanna continue to work on. So for example, the floor, I really do want to go ahead and get the tiles that I had for the backsplash. And I wanna put them on the floor as well. And I just feel like that will make it look much bigger. And then honestly, the white is just really getting dirty um, and it's not retaining any cleanliness. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is how it looks from the inside. My favorite part of the bathroom, honestly, is behind the bathroom, like the wall of the shower and then the door of the shower. And yeah, so let me know what you guys think or what you guys would like to see. I'm gonna go ahead and also do my living room renovation, so stay tuned for that. And any updates that I have for the bathroom, I will continue to keep you guys posted. So I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoy this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Toodles.